Now let's see how you as an admin can assign this permission set to the users. There are two user interface that we are going to explore now through which you as an admin can give access um, to this permission set to uh, different different users. One, you first have to go to the permission set. Okay, let me just go do it from the beginning. So as an admin, I'll search here permission set. I will be able to see all the permission sets that has been created here. The one that we have created just now is the create and customize report. Where is that? Yeah, this one. Assign create report permission. That's the one. And it had Salesforce license. Because this line is important, right? Because this permission set has the Salesforce license, you as an admin can only assign this permission set to those users who had the same Salesforce license. Understood? Let us go ahead and test this, okay? So I'll click on this permission set. There is a button called manage assignment. With the help of this manage assignment, you as an admin can go and assign this permission set to multiple users. So I'll just click on this manage assignment. Click on add assignment and select the users that you want to assign the uh, permission set. Let's say I'm selecting a user called chatter expert. You see, I have checked this box and you can check multiple boxes, by the way, you, if you want to um, provide this permission set to multiple users, please check multiple boxes against all each users and click on assign. Now I got an error. Can you please read this error and try to understand what is this error all about? It says cannot assign permission set to the user. User license doesn't match. Hope you understood this, right? So the user license is chatter free and the Permission set license was Salesforce, as I said. So this line, if, if possible, just write it down somewhere. The license of the user, the license of the profile, the license of the permission set has to be exactly the same. Then only you can assign the user to the profile and to the permission set. The reason is this. Based on the license that you select, the level of access will be different. If you give somebody Salesforce license, by the way, Salesforce license, the cost of the Salesforce license is the highest, right? So if you give somebody Salesforce license, then the kind of thing that he can do with the license, pretty much everything. If you give somebody chatter free license, then the person can do anything related to the chatter. License is basically define what sort of access that you as a user will have inside the org. And that's the reason why your profile, your permission set and your user license has to be exactly same. Got it. So I'll just click on this done. I'll go back to the same page. Now see this, I can assign this permission set to someone called testing user. Ideally I should assign this to Rajesh Chatterjee because that's what we discussed in the requirement, but Rajesh is a system administrator. So can do anything, right? So I'm selecting this uh, checkbox for uh, user testing, right? And click on assign. See now I will not get any error, right? I got this. Permission set assign, this is the name of the permission set, right? Has been assigned to one user. The reason is testing user also have the same license. Okay. Now, how do I make sure that the testing user uh, now have access to create and uh, create and customize reports? Before that, have you checked whether in the profile level, um, the user already had the create and customize report access? We haven't checked that, right? So let's go to this floor executive profile, that profile that the username testing user belongs to. I will go to this profile and I will check whether the create and customize report checkbox or the options or the um, permission has already been given in the profile or not. By the way, your profile, if let's say we have given the profile uh, access in the profile level, it's not a problem. There's no error, okay? Same permission set can also carry the same permission that you have already given in the profile. There is no technical error, but it's meaningless, right? If you have already given the uh, permissions in the, um, uh, in the profile, then what is the use of uh, creating another permission set and assign the same permissions, right? So I'll just make sure that I'll go to this profile call floor executive, click on edit button and remove the access. So I'll check with report. Here we go. See this. 
the option to create and customize report is already been given in the profile. I'll uncheck this box. Okay. Now this profile name floor executive doesn't have the create and customize report clear. Now I will go and save this profile. I will make sure this profile belongs to testing user. How do I make sure if you go to this profile, this profile page has a button called view users. And here you can see all the users that this, um, that belongs to this particular profile. So I have only one user testing user. So testing user has the profile called floor executive, which doesn't have access to create and customize report. And this same user, if I go here has a permission set, how do you check which permission set is been given to this user? Do you see something called permission set assignment? Yeah. Click here. You will see this permission set assignment. Okay. And here, this particular permission set is been assigned in this particular data. You got it. So if you go to this page, this page testing user detail page has a permission called assign, create and report permission. Okay. And this permission hold that permission to create and customize report. 